Hey, it's Alina from Exact Meat Mastery here with today's Tuesday Tech Tip, and I want to discuss what is or is not included in line items. And this affects you because you could be leaving money on the table here. And I want to take a look at what's called click for detail. So I want to start with the ladders with Jackson planks. So today we're working on some uh, gable cornice return strips. You can see here I can click for detail on the cornice return strip. You've got a nice little picture of what the heck a cornice return strip is. These should be added separately to the estimate because the roofer laborers cannot walk from the roof field shingles onto this area and repair this area. They have to access it with ladders and jacks, which is what we're going to ask for. Also, we've got the cornice returns themselves. So once a cornice return strip, One's a cornice return, which is like a little arts and crafts project there. And again, can't be walked on from the roof bed. You have to set up a ladder with jacks in order to replace this area of the roof. So we're going to go ahead and add, ask for those ladders with jacks. And we're going to go ahead and click for detail here. Now, in the past, I have to admit I'm very embarrassed about this, but I would just add ladders and jacks with planks and then call it a day, right? What I recently discovered, because I've never clicked for detail on that, I thought it was pretty, I thought ladders and jacks are pretty straightforward. Well, the mistake I was making is it says it's inclu it includes equipment costs for two aluminum extension ladders with two jacks and one plank. That piqued my interest about two weeks ago. Uh, I'm thinking here, well, where's our labor to set those up? So if you go to print in your click for detail, it'll break it out by component for you and look at this. There's zero labor hours in there. It's all equipment that they've broken out. There is no labor. So this whole time, I mean, I'm talking almost three years of me writing my estimates, I've not been adding our scaffolding setup and takedown. All right, so, or some kind of labor hours. You could also use the RFG LABL. The general labor hours, if that I think that would be warranted. Either way, just to give you some relief on that pricing because the $104 is equipment only. And the only way you could know that is by clicking for detail and going to print. All right, so I love doing this whenever I discover new line items or something that I haven't worked with before. Do that with your line items, even if you use them every day. Go back and revisit them. Like I said, with this Ladders with Jackson Plank, no idea that it was equipment only. So great research can be done. You can also print and then uh, create a PDF. I can save this as a, a uh, PDF here and send that over to the adjuster if we need to have this conversation about whether labor should be included or not on my estimate. And it's a beautiful thing. So you can actually prove what's included and what's not in our line items. So my name is Alina Wilson with Xactimate Mastery. Go ahead and click subscribe below if you'd like to join my channel or go to the website at www.xmatemastery.com and subscribe to our Tuesday Tech Tips to have these in your inbox every week. All right, see you next week, guys.